NASA recently convened an emergency press briefing following what insiders describe as an attempted contact with a peculiar object moving through our solar system. At this very moment, something extraordinary is traveling through the vast darkness beyond Mars, something that does not appear to be of local origin. This isn't another asteroid or fragment of space debris. It's 3i, only the third known interstellar traveler humanity has ever observed. It emerged from the immense void between stars, journeying for millions of years before entering our celestial neighborhood. But what truly sets this object apart is that NASA didn't just watch it, they tried to make contact. Shortly after 3i Atlas detection on July 1st, NASA's Deep Space Network rapidly adjusted its focus. Massive radio telescopes on three continents, California, Spain, and Australia, locked onto a single target, the most powerful radar arrays, capable of mapping distant asteroids more than 20 million kilometers away, were directed toward this mysterious visitor. What came next left scientists baffled. The object didn't behave like any known comet. And when NASA initiated its communication protocol, something responded in a way no natural cosmic body ever had before. The unscheduled emergency briefing that followed was immediate and unavoidable. What you're about to learn could redefine how we think about the dark reaches between worlds. So, how does NASA actually attempt to contact something millions of miles away? They rely on three key methods, and all were activated this time. The first is the Deep Space Network, a system of immense 70-meter antennas capable of transmitting focused radio signals with incredible precision across the solar system. NASA typically uses them to communicate with distant probes around Pluto, but this time those signals were aimed at something unknown. The second tool was the Goldstone Solar System Radar, a powerful system that can bounce radio waves off faraway asteroids and generate detailed surface maps. When three, I passed within detectable range. Goldstone fired its most intense radar pulse. However, the returning signal revealed an anomaly, an unusual frequency shift instead of a consistent reflection expected from a frozen comet. Something unexpected occurred. NASA also employed its newest optical laser communication technology, first proven in 2023. The Deep Space Optical Communication System showed that it could send laser messages across vast interplanetary distances. If three I Atlas possessed reflective surfaces, the laser pulses could uncover features hidden from radar. But the real question is, why attempt contact at all? Think of it like answering a knock at your door. For decades, NASA's Deep Space Network has been humanity's way of knocking on the universe's door. This time, however, it seems the universe might have knocked back. If reports of frequency anomalies are confirmed, that could mean the object contains metallic or structure components, features that defy natural explanation. The implications are enormous. What followed forced NASA into a high-level briefing that wasn't scheduled because something extraordinary had been detected. Why such urgency? What triggered NASA to act so decisively? Remember when Oumuamua passed through our solar system in 2017? It took months before scientists finished their analysis. They had time to argue, publish, and theorize. This time, with 3 I. NASA went from detection to communication attempt in under 24 hours, an unheard of response. Behind closed doors, NASA's AI analysis systems, the same ones used with the James Webb Space Telescope, were immediately tasked with dissecting every data point, every signal, reflection, and photon bouncing back from 3i. These AIs can uncover patterns that human minds might overlook, detecting irregularities in radio frequencies, brightness changes, and structured patterns hidden within what looks like random data. According to leaks, those same algorithms flag portions of the radar return as potentially artificial, not noise, not natural composition signatures, but something seemingly engineered. If you're drawn to scientific discoveries that push boundaries, make sure to stay updated, because this story is only beginning. What NASA's AI found next explains the sudden emergency briefing and why they may never reveal the full truth. Most people don't realize that NASA and SETI already rely heavily on AI to comb through cosmic radio signals every single day. These systems handle massive volumes of telescope data, searching for hidden structures in the chaos of space. These algorithms are remarkably advanced, and if they truly detected something non-random from 3i, 
we could be on the verge of the most profound revelation in human history. These AI systems can identify repeating sequences in radio frequencies, detect rhythmic changes in light intensity, and flag any signal that diverges from the usual cosmic background noise. They've successfully discovered pulsars, classified remote galaxies, and even helped unravel the complex patterns within Saturn's rings. But when NASA's artificial intelligence analyzed the signals from 3I-A, something truly out of the ordinary occurred. The algorithms detected multiple sequences of non-random pulses coming from the object's radio emissions, far from the chaotic bursts one would expect from a comet heating up near the sun. What they found had structure and rhythm. Imagine tuning through static on an old radio, only to hear a pattern resembling Morse code cut through the noise. That's precisely what NASA's AI detected. The system recorded repeating intervals, mathematically precise progressions that nature doesn't typically produce in space. To confirm the data, NASA's machine learning platforms cross-referenced these patterns against every known astronomical event, solar winds, magnetic disturbances, plasma interactions, none of them matched. The algorithms had flagged something completely outside their training parameters. It was the type of discovery that makes scientists freeze, realizing they may be confronting either a new, unknown natural occurrence or evidence of something far beyond our scientific understanding. To be clear, NASA hasn't claimed this is an extraterrestrial message. However, the data's structure raises unsettling questions. Was it caused by random gas emissions from the comet's core? Or did something inside the object itself generate these repeating signals? That's the mystery NASA was forced to address during their emergency briefing. The AI's findings were so unprecedented that NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office was alerted immediately. Within hours, the agency's top scientists personally began reviewing the data. What they uncovered next explained why the emergency announcement couldn't wait. This wasn't a routine comet encounter. This was an object NASA had attempted to contact. And the outcome was alarming enough to draw attention from the agency's highest levels. Consider NASA's record, they've cataloged thousands of comets, asteroids, and fragments of debris. Every type of event has a set of established procedures. But the 3i Atlas case broke those norms entirely. The emergency meeting wasn't scheduled in advance, nor part of their usual communication protocol. Senior researchers were summoned outside standard working hours. Even global space agencies received urgent notifications through emergency channels typically reserved for collision threats. Such an immediate response suggests NASA found data so extraordinary that conventional peer reviews couldn't apply. The information had to reach political leaders and foreign partners right away. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened. There's a long-standing pattern of mysterious detections, unexplained anomalies, and urgent briefings that often lead to more speculation than clarity. The 3 i Atlas incident fits into that same puzzling narrative, one NASA might prefer the public not to connect the dots on. This isn't a new phenomenon in NASA's history. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University recorded a powerful, structured signal from the direction of Sagittarius. It lasted 72 seconds, prompting astronomer Jerry Emmon to write, wow, in the data margin, a mystery that remains unsolved to this day despite almost five decades of analysis by NASA and SETI. Then came the enigmatic 1991 VG, an object in Earth's orbit that baffled scientists for similar reasons. NASA's experience shows that every so often, something appears in the heavens that doesn't fit into any known category, forcing humanity to question just how much of the universe still lies beyond our understanding. Its trajectory was so peculiar that astronomers speculated it might be leftover debris from an old space mission. Yet no space agency claimed responsibility for it. The object's reflective qualities and spin didn't align with any known spacecraft model. Jump ahead to 2017, when Oumuamua entered our solar system as the first verified interstellar object. But as it exited, something extraordinary occurred. It accelerated despite showing no visible gas vents or comet tail. Harvard's Avi Loeb proposed that it could be artificial in origin, while NASA's explanation pointed to invisible hydrogen outgassing, a phenomenon never before observed in any comet. Even the Voyager probes, the farthest human-made spacecraft, have encountered unexplained technical anomalies. As they cross the heliopause, 
the edge of our solar system. Both experienced unexpected data losses and instrument failures. NASA labeled these as mechanical malfunctions, but the coinciding timing raised eyebrows. Every decade, NASA faces mysteries that defy expectation, objects that move in ways they shouldn't, signals that don't belong, and encounters that question everything we believe about what's possible in outer space. The case of three, iAtlas might simply be. The most recent episode in this ongoing narrative, researchers who experienced the debates following the Umuamua discovery have said they learned to prepare for the unexpected. So, when NASA rushed into its emergency meeting, scientists immediately knew something serious was unfolding, something warranting the swift involvement of senior officials. Yet beneath the layer of science lies another dimension to this story, national defense. Here's what many don't realize once NASA detected 3 I Atlas, The United States Space Command was automatically alerted. That's not conspiracy. It's established procedure. Any unidentified object entering the solar system triggers alerts across the military space monitoring networks. Since its creation in 2019, the U.S. Space Force has been quietly preparing rapid response strategies for precisely these situations. They've tested high-speed launch plans that can send satellites or probes into action within hours of detection. The technology is operational, and the frameworks are ready. The only question is whether they've been activated. The Department of Defense's Advanced Research Divisions oversee classified initiatives dedicated to studying possible dual-purpose space technologies. If an interstellar object showed even partial signs of artificial construction, it would represent an unparalleled intelligence windfall. Reverse engineering of foreign technology, especially one from another star system, could alter human civilization overnight. That's why, from the Pentagon's perspective, even the suspicion of an artificial object passing through our system raises unsettling concerns. Could it be a probe studying our planet? Could it be analyzing Earth's defense systems or transmitting information back to its creators? These ideas belong not to science fiction but to the real-world analyses conducted by military strategists who have long modeled such possibilities. Defense planners have simulated this very type of event. What happens if an advanced civilization's probes scout other star systems? How could we identify them? And what would our response look like? The three iAtlas case may prove to be their first genuine test. Consider it this way. If an unidentified craft entered our atmosphere, military units wouldn't remain silent air defense systems would engage, and fighter jets would scramble. Now extend that scenario to the cosmic level. That's what makes NASA's emergency briefing relevant beyond the scientific community. The speed and scale of their response suggest they weren't merely sharing observational data, they were coordinating a joint effort among multiple government branches, international agencies, and classified operations the public may never know about. What comes next could reshape our understanding of humanity's position in the universe. Let's take a step back. NASA made an intentional attempt to communicate with an interstellar object. That object replied or behaved in ways that caused grave concern throughout the research community. And what should have been just another comet observation suddenly turned into a high stakes. Global discussion. Meanwhile, NASA continued publicly releasing scientific details about the object, official data reports. Hubble imagery, and technical analyses about its orbit and composition. This created two parallel realities, the surface-level story about a harmless comet passing by, and the hidden narrative involving anomalous signals, emergency meetings, and unplanned coordination between agencies. Which one reflects the truth? Perhaps both, perhaps neither. But putting speculation aside, what do we actually know about 3 iAtlas based only on empirical evidence? The following are the verified scientific facts. On July 1, 2025, NASA's Atlas survey detected a rapidly moving object later designated as 3 I Atlas. Within a single day, astronomers confirmed it as the third known interstellar body to pass through our solar system, originating from beyond the reach of our sun's influence. It will continue its journey back into interstellar space after passing through. Its closest approach will occur at a distance of 1.6 astronomical units from Earth, about 150 million miles away, well beyond the orbit of Mars. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office has repeatedly verified that the object poses absolutely no threat to Earth. 
High-resolution images taken by both the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes show exactly what scientists would anticipate from a normal comet, a radiant nucleus surrounded by a hazy envelope of gas and dust, with a tail trailing behind as it reacts to solar radiation. Spectroscopic readings indicate standard elements like water ice, carbon dioxide, and rocky material. The object's fluctuations in brightness correspond to the spin pattern of an unevenly shaped nucleus. Every dataset so far fits neatly into what is expected of a natural interstellar comet. Compared with earlier visitors such as Oumuamua and Borisov, 3i Atlas aligns perfectly with observational expectations. Its path follows gravitational laws. Its appearance mimics standard comet activity, and its composition features no unusual materials. That's what makes the situation so puzzling. Scientifically speaking, 3i Atlas appears completely ordinary. Every instrument confirms it behaves like a naturally formed comet made of rock and ice, yet NASA's actions suggested otherwise. Why the urgent briefing? Why the effort to initiate contact? Why the sudden inclusion of military space operations? If every piece of evidence says comet, why did NASA treat it as something far more momentous? The answer may lie not in its composition, but in its implications for humanity. This raises the most daunting question facing astrophysicists if NASA actually received a structured reply from the object. Would they tell the public? The honest response is likely not immediately. The revelation that an interstellar body had responded to communication signals would reshape humanity's view of the cosmos. It would ignite questions about extraterrestrial intelligence, technology, and humankind's rank in the universal hierarchy, questions few societies are ready to face. Historically, NASA announces groundbreaking findings only after extended peer review. It took months to verify Oumuamua's strange acceleration and years to analyze Borisov's data. Why would they hastily disclose something even more extraordinary? Then there's an unsettling possibility. What if these interstellar travelers aren't random at all? What if they're part of a coordinated survey, automated probes designed to evaluate developing civilizations? Consider it logically. A civilization studying worlds around distant stars would send self-sufficient probes disguised as natural objects to minimize alarm. These devices would observe, collect data, and measure the host species' technological advancement, gauging whether a world was capable of recognizing or attempting contact. If that's true, then NASA's directed transmissions toward 3i Atlas could have triggered precisely the reaction these probes were built to detect. Our radio signals, radar pings, and laser pulses might serve as cosmic proof of our progress. Regardless of whether this was truly a comet or something engineered, it forces humanity to confront a deeper question. If the universe suddenly spoke back, would we be prepared to answer? Would we even be able to recognize the message? The 3i Atlas event might suggest that we're closer to that moment than anyone expected. What's undeniable is that NASA discovered an interstellar object, used its most advanced communication technologies to reach it, and held an emergency briefing not included in its usual scientific schedule. Reports persist of frequency anomalies and AI-detected patterns inconsistent with typical cometary behavior, whether it was a natural formation or something beyond. This marked a turning point. For the first time in history, humankind actively tried to communicate with something originating from another star system, a documented fact. Whatever response NASA received was significant enough to trigger immediate consultations with government authorities and international observers. The implications extend far beyond science. By engaging with interstellar visitors, humanity essentially admitted that at least some of them might not be purely natural objects. We've opened the door to the idea that our universe could be far busier and more deliberate than we once imagined. As NASA continues monitoring 3i Atlas on its outbound path, new telescopes are being developed, and artificial intelligence grows more adept at deciphering faint signals across space. The next interstellar object we encounter may not leave so much room for interpretation. It may force us to face truths about awareness in the cosmos our role among other intelligent life, and the possibility that we've been observed all along. If this story intrigues you as much as it astonishes the scientific community, stay tuned because the next revelation might eclipse this one entirely. And when the cosmos finally decides to answer, you'll want to be among the first to know.